November 30th, and this is episode 11, wow. Spartan Update Podcast. That's a lot. It's a lot. I didn't realize we did 11. 11. Is that right? It's 11, Are you yeah. sure? I'm uh, 100% sure. Are you sure? I, yes. Okay. 11. I feel like, but I feel like we've done, we've done like, remember we did two other ones. Yeah, we've done more. So we probably ended up doing like 12 or 13. Yeah. 11. It's a lot. This is 11 airing. Yep. But we've done more than that. Oh, so this is going to air in December? Yep. Yeah. Oh my God, December. <laughs> Speaking of December, what's your guys' favorite holiday movies? <laughs> you can go first. Mine's controversial. Elf. Mine's Elf. What's yours? Home Alone. Do you guys consider that a Christmas movie? I yeah, that movie. that's not that's not a Christmas movie to it people. Is. I used to be so scared of the movie. I always did think that because we would always go away during Christmas break, and I'd always <laughs> think that my parents would leave me, and I was so scared of it. People, some people don't think that Home Alone is a Christmas movie. I think that's a Christmas movie. You know who movie. you are. Yeah, it is a Christmas. Isn't, isn't it like on Christmas? Yes, yeah, don't they leave him on Christmas? On Christmas. It's literally based around Christmas. I think Christmas. the kid actor looks really weird. Yeah. But now he models for Gucci, so that's kind of no, cool. No, I thought he was, I thought he like became a drug addict. He did. He did. And then now he models for Gucci. Oh. <laughs> Child stars. Um, Elf is the best. No, it's not. Elf is boring. Elf is so boring. What are the other Good. Christmas movies? Like, um, I'm not the person to ask. The I don't. Uh, okay, um, this is funny because I know all of them, but I don't watch any of them. Like, uh, Christmas with the Cranks. Have you seen it? That one's so stupid. I've I never hate seen that one. The Christmas Carol. I've never even heard of that one. Just like the, the Grinch. Carol. I've seen the, the Grinch. new one or the old one. The one with Jim Carrey. Or the one, the animated one. Jim Carrey. The one with Jim Carrey. Is I love Jim Carrey. Carrey. Jim Carrey is <laughs> psycho. Oh yeah, method so, actor. No, he's not. He is crazy. No, sometimes no. Like, I heard that <laughs> he went one, once he was playing the Grinch. Like he became the Grinch. Like it took him a while he's to a get out actor. of it. Shut up. Yeah, no, he he he's like me. literally like, if I'm gonna play this part, I'm gonna be the part. Yeah, but yeah, like him. Like, you know, that's what the Truman that's Show, and then he went on like the Tonight Show with like Jimmy Kimmel, not Jimmy. K yeah, Jimmy Kimmel. And, like was like, the world is fake. Like this isn't real. It's a simulation. And, like, okay. he went, oh god. Did you, you have to see? I'm gonna send you guys that interview. It's really funny though. Wait, what was so the movie that, he, that that happened on? Like from the Mask. The Truman Show. Oh. It's really good. You guys what, seen this? Well, like, what's it about? The Truman Show is about um, Jim Carrey, basically the Truman. He's he was like, it's like when Hollywood takes it too far. Oh. So like they made they took him as a baby, like straight from birth, and put him into this like little like bubble world, and like all these actors that like, he's known his whole life. Like he grew up. He was like. 30 something and like yeah. these actors pretended to be his friends his neighbors his wife like his mm. teachers like his boss and it ends up being literally just like it's a tv show about yeah. his life and people are in the world are like obsessed with it and then he uh. figures out it's not real when he gets older because he just like realizes and he's like he like try he escapes but it's like they try to like kill him and then it's like mm. all for tv it's crazy have you guys yeah. ever seen the um it's not a christmas movie it's just a movie with jim carrey the mask no. Oh. Where's the green mask? No, but what is that about? I've heard really? it. Really? The mask? I'm not good at describing movies. Really? I'll pull it up. I'll show you. There's no way you've never seen this movie. I know what you're talking the about. Mask. I've never seen it. It's classic. I've never even heard of it. He like wears the yeah, green mask. Yeah, it's literally called the mask. Okay. I'm not going. Where crazy. he like showed up to. Never seen this. This movie. That. Oh, I've, I've seen that, but I've I've I mean not like I've seen that mask, but I've never seen the movie, and I don't. No, what it's about. What is it about? Fantastic movie. Um, I don't, I don't even like really know. I, I, I'm not good at describing movies. You can't. You don't I mean, know one plot. The dude, he's wearing a. I mean, basically, it's like two personalities. He puts on the green mask and he turns into a freaking psychopath. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> Weird. So it's just like split personalities, one with the mask I, and one without. That's not really what the movie's about, but uh, yeah. Uh, I haven't watched the movie in like five, six it. years. It's a great movie. You should watch it. I'm going to watch it again. Is it on Netflix? <sighs> couldn't, couldn't tell you there. <laughs> we don't, we haven't watched it. Yeah, I <laughs> only like Elf. Other ones like the, like the, you know like the Hallmark it's movies that like movie. every year someone makes one. Like Nina Dobre just made a Hallmark movie. She did. They're like so cringy and like so... Ugh, I hate them. It's I like, don't know if this is like a Hallmark movie. It's called Snowden. 
I, I honestly don't think it's Hallmark, I don't but know. it's good. It's with the girl from um, One Tree Hill, Haley. <gasps> it's like her character, okay. and she's like the main girl. Um, that's good. They stay at like a, a bed and breakfast, and like, like they think that the um, the owner is like Santa, like from like the like oh my god it's not like an animated movie though it's like you would have to like watch it to if get what I, I mean i was an actress and i had to do a movie like that i would just end my career no it's honestly it's not like oh santa's real they're like they're like no like Good like money. this is like who he's based off of like, do anything that, for money and you're an actor it doesn't matter what it is yeah that's what they do my pride would be through the floor pride to the side get that money what what kind of movies would you guys be in if you guys were actors? I would want to be in a horror movie. Me too. Really? Mm-hmm. That's such a fun I want to be the thing to act in, movie. I feel like. I feel like that's so scary. I well, it's be... not You know the person well, doing it. It was not well, real. The, you know, The Shining. Apparently, like, the cast is, like, cursed. Oh. No, actually, I want to be the... <laughs> Maybe I would do, like, a murder movie. I want to be like the... a Like a murder uh, mystery. Not like a spirit. No, no, thing. I want to be a horror movie. I want to be, like, the scary people. Yeah, but would you want to be in a horror movie that's like psychological scary or just like jump scare scary? I don't care. Jump scare. Either one. I would. I would rather do like the jump scare one. I like. I want to be the dude on Saw, the, the little like doll. Oh, I hate or, Saw. Or I, I would do Let's like someone. Someone made me watch it in like eighth grade, and I still have nightmares about it. Really, I love it. It was so scary. Eighth grade, I watched all seven of them. Ugh, there's seven of them. Who watches? And then an eighth one came out. Like, Eight later. movies of that. Such Crap. a good movie. Such a good Sorry. movie. Come on. Sorry for my language. Can't get mad. It's a good movie. I hate it. I don't like horror though. You, I like like you and Mr. Spath. Oh, he's like horror. He hates horror. Oh my god, me and Mr. Spath are the same person. I wish I was on this <laughs> one. <laughs> Wait. So which horror. what what movie would you? I would be in um like sci-fi. So like you know Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. So okay, so it's like they go into people's dreams and it's so cool. I'd be in that. Like I want to be in Hugger Games. But not hung, not like that. Like I don't know. I saw stuff, something like futuristic. Like yeah, no, wait. Cool. Did, have you seen the movie Passenger? No, but I was. I saw it's with, it. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. it's good. It's like should I watch it? Yeah, you should watch oh, it. I, I also, that would be about. that would be like a cool movie to be. Yeah, in. I want to be in Inception, but like Inception happened in 2010. Or or like Avatar. Oh my, God, I love Avatar. Like I or like The Matrix slash um, Blade Runner. I love those movies. Isn't that? I thought it was called Maze Runner. Matrix. The Matrix. But what's Blade Runner? Oh, it's a different movie. It's a different movie. It's um oh, it's with similar names. What's his name? Harrison Ford. Yeah, yeah. He's in like the Star Wars, and mm-hmm. then he did Blade Runner. I love Blade Runner. And then they made a remake with um Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds. Which one? Ryan Gosling. I don't know. Gosling. I don't know. Probably Blake Ryan Gosling. Lee. Which one of them? No, it was Reynolds. really good. Would you guys rather be in a TV show or a movie? Oh, a mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure, movies. TV actors are like. Yeah, they're like pop. They're like famous for like whatever show they're in. They're that's in. popular. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't. I Unless don't you're know. like the Grey's Anatomy girl who like is like so famous. What's her name? Oh, I would never the one that plays that. Izzy. Yeah, no, I don't know. Just that's because that's a girl. she. she what is she in like ten seasons, something like that? No, Izzy's not in a lot, but she's in Meredith. Whatever. What, what's yeah. her Meredith, name? the whole show. Yeah, her. Yeah, but that's all she's known for. Yeah. Oh, you're saying that's the only play. Yeah, place like if I were to be known for one famous. thing, like it'd be like one really big TV show. Um, like a uh, like Big Mouth. <laughs> Who's known? What? <laughs> it's not really a big TV show. Yeah, yes, it is. It's been going on for what, like four seasons? Five. Five. I died and I didn't get. I got like through three episodes. And I was like, this is Don't watch it. too weird. Don't watch it. Yeah, I stopped. Okay. I good. gave up. It's terrible. Yeah. Honestly. I thought you guys told me to watch it. We did. You should. And then don't, season five came don't out. Watch, oh. Don't watch the fifth oh. season. Oh. I think it's you're really the weird. Show. It just gets weirder and weirder. I'm watching like sci-fi movies right now. Like I'm in between shows because I kind of gave up on Arrested Development. Like not gave up, but like I've like, ugh. You know when you just like don't want to keep going, but like you you want to, but you just like you need a break. That's yep. what I'm doing. I'm on a break. Yep. You know, we were just speaking about how I hate watching movies. Mm-hmm. Were you here for that? For that? Wait, no, I don't think I so. I don't like watching movies. Really? I literally sat down Wednesday night. <laughs> I was bored, so I went on Netflix. It was like, uh, like 11.30, 11.45. So I just went to bed. I got home. I was out, and I got home at like 11, 11.15. 
I went on Netflix. I'm like, I'm going to watch a movie. <laughs> so then I stayed up to like 2.30 watching some stupid movie on Netflix. Yeah. It wasn't that good. I looked at my phone, and I'm like, God damn it. And I slept till 12 the next day, and I was so mad at myself. I like so trying not to watch myself. stupid movies, because it just I mean, makes it, me mad. It wasn't like, it wasn't like stupid. I just didn't really like it. What was it called? Bruised, I think. What was it about? Um, it's just like some woman who was like a past MMA fighter. Like, oh God, her. you would watch it's, that. It's not, it's not even like about it. And then she's like <sighs> poor, she's like struggling with like, I guess, relationships with uh, her family life. Oh, that's she, so intriguing. Her uh, father, her, not father, her, I guess, baby's father. Baby daddy? Got shot. Oh. And then she's she, really selling her, this one. Then her son, that um, she didn't know she had, got dropped at her doorstep. Doorstep. Mm-hmm. She got a very rocky relationship with her mother. Uh, a lot of fighting, like verbal arguments, uh, some physical altercations throughout the movie, and then obviously, you know, the, I don't want to tell you how the movie ends, but yeah, it's a good. It, it was, it was a good movie. I just didn't like it. I don't really think that's like my genre. Yeah. I just started watching you. I'm oh, sure. really? I'm on the fourth. I, I watched that. Watch I watched. Really. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> that I actually watched. I've never seen. You that. did? Did you watch that? Wait, how many scenes are there? I don't even know. I watched the most recent one. Joe Goldberg. Yeah. Don't spoil anything. I'm only on the I've, fourth. I've never episode. seen All right, it. So what happens at the <laughs> end? Stop. What part? Are I you like on? the girl actress in it. What's her name? Beck. But there, I think they move. I I feel like I knew he moved stalkers or something. Like he switched girls, but I don't know. Um, um don't don't. No, what what are you oh, on? Oh, I'm on. Um, <laughs> he. He like just, it's only the fourth episode. So he just he just got the body, what? from. Would you care if I like say something? Oh, I'm not watching. The, it, also, it's the fourth episode. So, um, so. F- what is he just he, like? A, like he killed kill Je- uh, what Benji, and he got he just got rid of the body. You're that. Oh my god! It's the fourth episode. I just started. So they just kill people. No, 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 no. 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 He he's not he's, he's not like, really a killer. He's like he's, he's like a, a normal guy who's got like a side to him, who gets like he gets like over obsessed with women. Yeah. So and like literally puts his entire life into the one girl he like is obsessed with. Sure. So and he stalks them, makes sure like. Yeah, man, it's just he's it's like basically a, like whoever is like bad for them he's danger, like trying to like move them away them from feel in her. danger or you know anything any Weirdo. significant other in their yeah. life it's is. like so weird though because sometimes it's like he'll say things that like a normal person would say like the girl doesn't have curtains he's and a she normal lives in, guy yeah he, he she lives in New York City and she's like the first floor and she doesn't have curtains like giant windows and he's like have you ever watched like a like a a murder movie, like why do you have curtains? Like something like, like it's like normal things that you would say, but it's just like, but you're the one looking through. He's the a normal guy, and then he's got a stalker yeah. side. Weirdo. Yep. Yeah, it's, yep. But it's it's a good show. It's a great show. How? When did you watch it? When it first came out. No. Oh. Like two and a half. I think it was like three years ago. Wow. Oh. I was too, I was always too scared to watch seasons? it. Now I'm watching it. Is there three seasons? Yeah, I think there's three. Three years ago. I didn't realize how much stuff HBO Max has, and I decided to download stuff for my trip. And I was looking through. I was like, Oh my god, there's so many things I have what to is watch. It? Like, are they movies? Just or like shows? Good, yeah, just like old good movies. Not even old, just like ones that you haven't even like thought of in so long. Ones that like you have to buy to watch. Mm. So as many of you know, Kim K <laughs> and Kanye broke up. And I'm not segue. one. I'm not one for Kardashians. Like I really don't care what most of them do, but like I'm a big Pete Davidson fan. Uh-huh. Love his comedy on SNL. He think he's the best one. Respect. Me? God, Pete Davidson. Well, he's not the best one. No, but Pete I think Davidson. He's good. You don't like him? Not anymore. Why? Because of Kim? Yep. He's just like a. He's just like he looks like a corpse sometimes, mm-hmm. and he's with Kim, like mm-hmm. and. People love Kim. Publicity. Yeah, it's Chris Jenner trying to bring the attention away from Astro World. That's what I was thinking. But you know, and like all the kids going on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Oh the my social. god, I'm I'm the worst. I'm I like always see. I'm like I don't care about the Kardashians, and I know literally everything about them. I like looking like I like I always stalk their pages. Like 
the Kardashian clips. I think they're so they're entertaining. They're so odd. No, they're so funny. Like, they're, like, so funny because it's just, like, that's how they live. Like, like their they're, pro- like they're their problems are, like, so fun. Like, to me, like, I find them hilarious. Their problems are, like, actually So stupid. Insane. So dumb. Their fight. Also, there's, like, it's like when you see their Paris. fights. No, but when you see their fights, they, like, show both sides of it. And it's just, like, obviously one side is right most of the times. And when they rewatch it, I'm, like, don't you guys, like, understand? Like, because sometimes they lie. And I'm, like. You have that like recorded, mm-hmm. and like if someone's lying, you can easily like. Or tell. like Kendall when she did the Pepsi yeah. commercial, and she's like, like if I knew like the outcome, like I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> she gives the Pepsi to the officer. Oh yeah, I w- I wasn't that far into it because that was like early, like within the 2018 or something. Yeah. I think I started like looking at them in, like 2019, 2020. I could never. My dad, because when we were, like first came out, he would always block it on the TV. Oh my God. <laughs> he blocked MTV. We couldn't watch anything. But that was when like MTV was like nearing its like end mm. of like coolness. I mean, it's sort of like cool, but it's like no one really watches MTV. I remember in sixth grade, I used like sixth or seventh grade, or was it eighth grade? A show on MTV, the ridiculousness. Oh. Oh my God. But I think that's still going. That one. Is it ridiculousness? Why is that? I feel like I know that. It, it's like they watch funny video clips and they like make fun of them and i wish yeah, they would just show the funny video too. clips and not talk do they show them at all yeah but like they talk a lot and i'm like shut up or like america's home videos <laughs> oh <laughs> my god have been so boring I, to watch you we used to like watch it like when like whenever it came on like we would just stare at it oh like we god. would always watch it i would like crack up i thought that was like top tier comedy same when i was little and then I realized they're not that funny at all. Mm-mm. Anyways, back to Actually, what I, I was know. saying. Kim and Kanye, wh- how long were they married? Like five years? Five years? Something, I feel like that was like something the longest short. Kardashian relationship. Yeah, something short. Wait, but she had a lot of kids in that time. She probably just well, she like, had so many. She probably like, just wanted to have kids and then, I don't know, whatever. But, um. Women. What was I saying? No, no, not women. Don't say that. I'll smack you in the face. Some women, not all women. Well, it wasn't he psycho? <laughs> um, I don't, bipolar. I, mean, I think he's bipolar, but he That's lives really like, right. he's like, I'm off the meds. <laughs> yeah, never seen that one? No. This is the real me. No. No? Uh-uh. He's off the med. He's I've seen, like, th- some, like... You guys, like, not... Like, I, I saw... Like, no, like, I... Honestly, I don't follow up on Kanye. <laughs> but... <laughs> I saw he was at, like, a concert. Is that maybe when he, like, went off on a tangent? I mean, like, yeah, he does that a lot in Instagram and stuff. But anyways, <laughs> so Kim and him obviously got a divorce, and that's hard on anyone, especially in the public eye. That's probably impossible and, like, the worst, and, like, the media is covering it every single day. And anyways, Kim started dating again, and the first person she, co- she went out with is, or going out with right now is P. Davidson. Um, Kanye posted I saw that I saw on that. his Instagram and he's like it was a TMZ article about how Kanye is gonna get Kim back and he reposted it on his Instagram story like how yeah, I saw that like Kim is probably like what the heck she just got divorced with this guy and now he's like trying to get her back on social media not even like yeah. I mean I'm sure he's saying stuff to her and they have to co-parent so that's probably really Gosh. hard on her too because if he still has feelings for her, that's a lot to deal with. That's a lot of baggage. Her fault. <laughs> it's not her fault. Yes, it is. Why? She was explaining it. She, she said that... She picked ca- up and left. No. Uh-uh. no that's Kanye. Not true. She said that Kanye wanted to... Kept wanting to go, like, move places. He wanted to move to Wyoming because it's, like, remote. He wanted to move to, like, Japan, like, because no one really knows in there. But, like... he And, like, Kim was, like, I... At first, I followed him everywhere, but then, like towards the end like I have my own business like I have to be there I have to be for my kids like I can't just move around like this is my life like I like LA like I know Kanye didn't but she's like he would not compromise and I'm sure he was a little hard to deal with I'm and sure I'm sure I mean they also lived in a mansion that was like had wings like the south wing and like the east wing and they lived on separate wings during like COVID oh, they did yeah I didn't know that I feel like when you're just that rich like it's just so hard they it's lived on separate been. wings during COVID because they didn't want to like get. Them yeah, that was when they were like fighting. I think they like literally lived on different wings. Of the, and their house is looks like a mu- museum. I don't like their house at all. Mm-mm. It's creepy. It's not to me. homey. That's probably why they, like they didn't feel like. 
Well, the, she said she likes it like that because it's so it doesn't give her anxiety. It's so big. Yeah. yeah. She's Have so you guys seen rich. their sinks? It's like there's no. There's oh yeah, there's no there's no it's actual like a sink. It, it like yeah, it goes down. It slants. I like their bathroom though. It's like yeah. in that. It's like outside. It's like in the like the green. Yeah. Part. To be that rich. And like the it's like the full Oof. it's like floor to ceiling yeah. windows. I know to be that rich would be so nice. Yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't spend it on it's like got one its big pros home. And cons. Neither I would, would I. I. I would honestly, get like a bunch of homes everywhere, like not huge, but like homes everywhere. So I would I never travel. Honestly, get like a giant home like that. Like they honestly scare me. Like I, I can no. never live in a house that big. Also, like, if I was like alone too. Yeah, that's like what I'm Emma saying. Chamberlain bought. You know the the first house that she bought. She was yeah. talking about on her YouTube. It was like so big, big, so airy, and then she just like felt like not homey, so she moved into like a more homey house. Yeah. But also, like, I feel like if I was famous, I would live. I would like ask my friends to live with me. Same. I w- I don't think I would ever live alone. Honestly. No. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I would do that. What? Live, I mean, because then they people? like freeload. I don't. Maybe I'd like invite them over a lot. Mixed feelings about it. I would find a roommate that's like me. So you wouldn't be alone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not like you're sharing a room. You're sharing a house. Like, sure, I'd probably get lonely after a while. Yeah, just like it'd be it'd money. be nice for like the first two weeks, but then I feel like afterwards you're just like, all right, well. This sucks. I have this big house and like a pool and like no one to share with. Like yeah, I'd probably I probably. Oh, I'm not talking about the house. So house, I would never buy a big house like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, neither would I. Well, I would if I had like. A family. I mean, yeah, if I had money, but, like. A family. But not even like a giant house. With. Like, like honestly, just, like, like the houses nice. here are fine. Too. Like I think they're, they're good sizes. You know some of the New Yorkers that come down and they take over like the little Oakhurst houses mm-hmm. and then they like make them more modern. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, and like just like a backyard. Mm-hmm. If I was like, but I, don't I would rather have a bigger backyard. Yeah, like, the big backyard. But I I feel like I would want to have houses everywhere. Like or they wouldn't yeah, like even a have small to be that house big. Everywhere. But yeah. also like if you're that rich, like you could probably buy like big houses mm-hmm. everywhere for like nothing. Like yeah. I, but I buy them all over the, like the world. Like I'd buy it. Yeah, like, so you can just go there. Europe, like wherever. I'd be, like, L.A. I don't know about L.A. Maybe, like, um, San Diego, because San Diego's cool. Not San Diego. Actually, maybe, like, Malibu. (laughs) Not L.A., though, because L.A. is, it's, like... Isn't it kind of dirty there? I heard it's dirty there. I mean, I like cities, though. Or where does, where does Cody Co. live? Oh, what's it called? Oh, my God, I forgot. But he lives in California. Yeah, it's, like, uh, it's, like, a big, like, surfing, like, city. Is it near San Diego? I think. Oceanside? No, maybe not San Diego. He, it's like near LA, but not. Huntington Beach. It's like Vi- Vienna. It's not Vienna. It's something with the. Venice. Oh, oh, Venice. 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 It was in Venice. Venice. Beach. He lives in Venice. I live in Venice because it's like not as populated and it's a little bit nicer and it's near the water. So. Yeah. I definitely need to be near the water. Yeah. I, I feel like it's so hard water. to be landlocked. Maybe for a little, but like. Nah. Even like a lake would be fine. Yeah, I don't. The thi- I hate. I just want to be near the ocean during the summer. I don't mind the winter. Like I'll be wherever in the winter. Just I hate the ro- rural. Is that how you yeah, rural. rural. Like I hate place like that. that yeah, like landlocked yeah. states. Like where houses are actually just so far apart from each other. Oh. That was like so where you I would just never live on a farm. No. Never. I went to Seattle once. I would like to and have. And they use well water, and it smelled so bad. Oh. Like, no, like, so bad. When did you go to Seattle? When I was in fifth grade. Oh, my God, that's so fun. <laughs> no, even, no. I, I think I was in, I was in elementary school. So fun. Nope. It no. was really not fun. Oh. No, like, it was fun, because I, like, saw cousins. Yeah. But, like, it smelled oh, so bad. you have bad. cousins in Seattle? Yeah. That's so cool. And they had, like, they lived, they had, like, no neighbors. And they had, like, this mini yoga shack, and, like, we slept in there. <laughs> like, they had mattresses in there. And there would be, like, just so many bugs and, like, oh my Yeah, Seattle's very, it's very rainy. Like, and like, ew, and, the, like, since it's well water, the shower, like, the, it's so gross. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know how they do that. I was just in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the, that there's nothing there. Yeah. Like, there's literally uh, nothing there. Literally <laughs> Everyone's house is so far apart. And, like, their city isn't really a city. Really? And what? then it's, like... It's like a bunch. It's like big. It's just really spread out, but it's like a bunch of strip malls, a bunch of chains, and then there's like the business districts where there's like high rises, but they're business buildings. There's no. There's like three hotels, maybe. There's like a casino. There's like not that much fun to do. Like yeah. I don't. I don't even know what they're doing. And then we went to this place called Santa Fe. It's like 
an hour and a half away from Albuquerque, and it's supposed to be like their cool like little town thing. And it literally, when I tell you, it just looked like a bigger. It looked like Red Bank and Asbury combined, really, but like not as cool. And they were like <laughs> obsessed with it, and I was like, Mm-mm. like it's cool, but like it's just like it's very it's a different way of life. I mean, also like we say like I like people from New Jersey and like New York and Long Island area like we've grown up here like we know everything here, but like. The thing is, like, we're always like, what would I do if I lived there? But the thing is, like, if you like skiing, if you like hiking, if you like going to the lake, like tubing, like cliff jumping and stuff, like, like cool, fun stuff like that, it'd be perfect for you. Like, yeah. You always say there would be nothing, but like, they're like my There's cousin's no friends. Something. My cousin's friends, something. they have houses in Vail. They go skiing in Colorado mm. and like they go, they have jet skis, they have boats, and they go to Colorado like. I mean, I think that's stuff. cool. I like, think that's, that's I honestly big, feel like, like they, they have more fun than like we would in New Jersey. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know we have New York and Philly. Like, they don't really have that like city. The closest city to them would be like Denver, but that's like very far and like Boulder. Oh. And like, I mean, there's Texas, but that's a long drive. I wish I had a boat. I want a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go too big. Like, I always, I love too big. That's but, like, so much fun. Like, I don't, I wish I could just like take my boat and go. Yeah, but, like, here you can only really use your boat for, like, a couple months out of the year. Like, oh, yeah. Which sucks. I, like, if I were to have a boat, I'd have it in, like, Florida or somewhere nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Where you could use it all year round. I mean, the four months you could use it here, it's probably so much fun. Yeah. Oh, probably so much fun. It's a third of the year. Yeah, and it's so expensive, and you probably have to keep it. Yeah. I want a boat now. I know. I, always I want it to be some boat. Yeah, we're a long time away from that. Yeah. No, yeah. this year will be good. We, it will be quick and easy, hopefully. It's not even like I don't like the school year. It's just like I'm, I was freezing this morning. <laughs> I love the cold. I, don't I know. hate the cold. Like, I hate it, but I love, I like, because I like summer, but it just ha- lately I just haven't been vibing with summer. You haven't been Because I have to work during the summer, like a lot. I mean, I work during the school year, but not as much as the summertime. I don't even care. It's just such a... I way rather work than go to school. Because I'm very tired in the summer because I'm like, I wake up at like, E or seven Oof. work Oof. until like what like five or six and but then like I'll go out at night so like it's like I'll go out at like eight to like twelve or one so it's like I'm really only getting sleep for like five to six hours each night so I'm so exhausted. Sleep is my like my first days priority. off. No, yeah, my days off life. are like sleeping, going to the beach, like just chilling. Mm-hmm. But like mm-hmm. when I'm working, it's like go 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 because I don't want to miss. Like you, you feel guilty when you yeah. like don't do anything on a summer night. Yeah, I mean like it's nice to stay in like in the summer when it's like like a chill evening, but like, you just don't want to like, I don't even remember. And we're going to have like graduation and like oh so much stuff. We're going to be with each other like constantly. It's going to be like nonstop until also, we all I leave. I feel like people like this, this one, no one's going to want to stay in like at all because oh, they're no. going to like, you're leaving it's, in a this month. This is your last summer. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, not, yeah. it's not like your, last your last summer, but it's like your last time you're going to like actually spend time with them last for a while. Summer it's like your a... best summer, honestly. Yeah. But honestly, then, like, it kind of is. But then you get older and then you like go, when you're 21 yeah. and stuff, you go to like Asbury and stuff and that's also fun. Yeah. If you're here for, if you have you a job here. You grow older so. and you find new things to do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, but this summer it's like set plans. I know. Because we're going to have graduation mm-hmm. and it's going to be grad events and yeah, beach <laughs> and then saying goodbye to people. Oh, God. There are, that's so quick. <laughs> like pe- people are going to like leave like, uh, um, like some people could leave like August 1st. Like that's what okay. that's crazy. I don't think I am because all my schools are kind of like here. Oh, I'm not, not leaving. He, no, September. not here, but like close. Not close, but like northwest. Yeah, so slash, it's not like the north south. Slash, slash, like you leave so early. What What are the mountains called? Ah, uh, you apply. Okay. Like Boulder area, so like I wouldn't even be going until like end of August. The West Coast. Is that what? Yeah, thinking? I guess West Coast. No, it's like. Mid- is it west? When, when's west? What, would, what would be, like, the Rocky Mountains considered? The West Coast, right? Well, I know what you're talking about. Are you talking about Wisconsin? No. No? Like Colorado. Yeah. What, Colorado? What, what's that considered? Oh, that's fucking west. That's west. Yeah, west. Yeah, out west. <laughs> oh, my, duh, sorry. I'm having a blank. <laughs> yeah, like, out west. So, out west, I don't really go until, like, end of August, oh, September. Really? Mm-hmm. I applied oh, to... I think only, like, the south. I <laughs> it's only really early. That is early not, August. I don't, no, that's not true. I applied to Arizona State. Oh, well, besides Arizona. Arizona. Isn't... 
Where is Arizona? It starts July 29th. What? <laughs> no, that's, it doesn't. That's Midwest, it's right? July? It's moving there. July no way. July 29th, the latest day you can move in is August 2nd. Wait, what, what school is this? Arizona State. Well, but she just asked still... where Arizona was. Well, I, it's in Midwest, where... right? No. West. Where is no, it? No, no, it's west. West? It is next to California. Oh. <laughs> you forget. Oh, think of Alabama. The A's. <laughs> Oh, they're yeah, two man. very different Yeah, in the states. south, they, they all go... Earlier. So It's so hot. Early. It's, like it's so hot. Early. Most places. Oh, yeah. Alabama move rush. In, move, in. <laughs> <laughs> move in day is always, like, sweaty. It's the worst. Move in day is the worst. Worst day of your freaking life. Mm-hmm. Like, you're actually dripping sweat, and it's just, like, stressful, and you don't know where you are. Yeah, and it's you like, don't know who you're it's with. A, you have to meet your roommate for the first time sometimes, uh, like, if your roommates are far away, and you're just like, mm. Hey, what's I'm up? like stressed for that, honestly. Like, like same. Like, how do I? F- whatever. We'll figure. No, we're not doing that. I know. <laughs> Play it by ear. Just let it go. Wait, I, I feel like it's a thing for like boys to roommate with like their friends. No, yeah, it's so weird. That. No, like do that. I feel like every that. boy I've known that went no, to yeah. college has room with someone from a like, lot of the boys last year. I want to be it's like so if I go to a college with like one of my friends I want to like be in the same dorm with them yeah don't because then yeah. you guys could have you four have, friends exactly. that's what I always think I'm like, like why, why would, would I, you why do would that? I room with you when I can room with someone neither of us know and you could do the same, same thing then you have and four then friends it's four because if you're just together you like if someone gets you're like you're gonna like cold stick feet to each other and they get then. nervous or like if one person like doesn't want to do something it's like you're kind of like uh yeah so it's nice to have so like let's say if you like room with someone and it's like you maybe they don't want to do the same thing as you do but like your friend has a friend your friend has a roommate that like and your friend wants to like do the things that you want to do it's like Good so much better just, <laughs> so much better I don't know why anyone I would think ever it's just together. so dumb also like you're gonna get sick of that person yeah. real quick because you already know them like yeah. this new person you're like kind of like learning like living with someone is like a yeah. experience <sighs> yeah yeah because you're just so used to, like, going home, going to your room, and just, like, being alone. Just, well, I actually share a room with my sister. Oh, yeah. But but that's, like, I know them. Yeah. And, like, even if I fight with them, they, like, can't do anything about yeah. it. But it's, like, I don't know. Or, like, if you deal with, ugh. I feel like you don't get close with, like, actually, I don't like, oh, my gosh, the first few weeks of college are probably so awkward. No, rooming with uh, your friends is very odd. Yeah. I'd never do that. Very odd. You what if they people? ask you though? What do you like? I would. Like, I, would no. say, I would say I would, no. I would say no. I would straight up say I'd no. I'd say we have to make sure we're in the same dorm. Yeah. Not room. Or even like dorms like next to each other. That yeah. I, don't I care. mean, can you pick that though? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you could try, if you like know where you want to go. Hundred yeah. percent. If you and your friend both know where you want to go. Find I guess a if you're out. early enough to do it. You could you could do that if you were. I'm gonna like, be so late because I have no idea where I want to go. I haven't even, I mean, I only applied to two schools, but I haven't gotten accepted yet. When do you hear? It's coming soon. I think Jan- I think both is, like, Mammoth is January 31st, and I think did Rutgers. Do, oh, wait, no. Did you do early action? Yeah, I did. It's kind of annoying. You should probably hear And Rutgers, Christmas, I don't know. I think so. maybe Either before Christmas no, Rutgers is January yeah. 21st, 31st. That's by. It'll be before then. Oh. Yeah, they like And then Mama's I think is January 1st. One of the, I'm not going to say it, one of the schools I just got into, their like deadline, they said January 20th. And you already I got heard in? back November 19th. Yeah, all the schools I, I got into, the three of them, they are all like January and like January, literally January, heard back January. November. Well, hopefully exactly. Here soon. Exactly. I should hear before. But those Christmas, are like. Hopefully. First come, first serve. Yeah. That's how they do it. But the harder like, schools, like the pe- some people that want to go to like Ivy League schools or like even like top tier schools, like they're not going to hear about oh, until definitely. March. So that's, so it's kind of it's a little bit better for them if they know where they want to go. So then as soon as they get in, or if they don't get in, like they mm-hmm. can just know exactly what they're going to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I applied like October, like mid October. I think. You'll figure it out. Yeah, hopefully soon. All right. I think that's it. Yeah. That's good. That's good enough. All right. Bye. See you guys next week. Bye.